After successfully configuring the IP address of the module, we are now ready to configure the hardware configuration in RS Logics 5000 software. Integrating an Ethernet I.O. module with integrated I.O. Link Master into RS Logix 5000 software can be done one of two ways. This depends on the version of software being used. For versions earlier than version 20, a generic profile for the I.O. Link Master needs to be configured. However, RS Logix 5000 version 20 or higher, an EDS file can be downloaded and registering enabling various IO link mapping in the software. The EDS file required for the module can be downloaded from the Pepperell and Fuchs website. In your web browser, enter the following URL. In the search field provided, you will enter the following. As the module appears, by selecting it, you are provided a list of tabs. The EDS file is positioned under the Software tab. Download this locally to your computer. As we go to our Ethernet IP driver that's been pre-configured, we see two IP addresses recognized. One is of the Compact Logix controller. The second IP address is of our Ethernet IO Link Master. However, note the yellow question mark indicating that the identity of the module is not yet recognized. We will minimize RS Links and launch RS Logix 5000. Here, I have already successfully created a new project. The next step we want to proceed is with the EDS hardware registration tool. If we click on Tools, EDS hardware installation tool, a wizard appears enabling us to perform a registration of the EDS files. Click on Next, and here we will register an EDS file. In our case, what we downloaded in step one provided us all the Ethernet I.O. modules, so we will register a directory of EDS files. We must remember where we downloaded our EDS files. In selecting Next, the process is rather easy, and now we have an identity for our Ethernet IO Link Master Module. Right click on the PLC's Ethernet interface and select the option New Module. Searching is possible by selecting Pepperell and Fuchs or simply typing in Pepperell in the field provided. In our case, we, we will be looking for our Ethernet IO Link Master module. Click on Create. In the screen provided, a unique device name is required. I will use IOL1 for the name of the module such that description files can be imported in a later step. The IP address for the module will be the one that we reconfigured with the integrated web server, 172.18.10.101. The next step is to select the mapping option for the Ethernet I.O. module. The screen that appears enables us to see the various mapping options supported by the IO Link Master. In our case, we will be selecting the IO Link 4 option, which is sufficient for most Pepperell and Fuchs IO Link sensors. This establishes an array of input and output words that we will need to reference as we observe diagnostics with our IO Link Master. As we close all the screens, we will navigate to the controller tag database. However, a PLC programmer needs descriptions for each data word mapped of the IO Link input and output image. Currently, although our arrays have been established, we have no information populating our description field.
Pepper and Fuchs has created description files for certain mappings of the Ethernet I.O. module. If you need further help on creating these CSV files or getting access to these files, please contact the Pepper and Fuchs tech support team. As noted earlier, these files are critical for a PLC programmer because they help to identify the data arrays of what information can be collected for each device via I.O. link. Using the IRS Logics capabilities, let's select Tools, Import, in our case, we'll navigate to our I.O. link folder and select the mapping that we selected in the prior step of I.O. link 4. Now, as a programmer looks at the input and output arrays, these are immediately populated with helpful information to help diagnose the IO link diagnostics.